Welcome to Getting Started with Database Training for Post-Traumatic Stress Disorder Using a Bipolar Montage. The custom protocol used in this presentation is featured at all workshops taught by John Demos. Database training can be implemented in a number of ways, including Brain Master's Event Wizard. About two years ago, an adult bipolar montage database was gathered by John Demos. It is the basis for the following protocol. This presentation demonstrates how to use a Z-score style training from a bipolar montage reference database. Bipolar montages have long been used by pioneers, including the late Margaret Ayers and many others. Bipolar montage is likely, but not proven, have a greater impact on the limbic system and many other deep brain structures. Twelve months ago, the following dual bipolar montage database training protocol was tried on a survivor of abuse. FZT3 plus PZT4. The test was successful. Training with the dual bipolar montage promoted emotional change and growth. Previous training with NeuroGuide Z-Score database failed to ameliorate PTSD symptoms. Since that time, the protocol has been successfully applied to dozens of clients diagnosed with PTSD. It must be understood that this eyes open protocol is for adults, it is free, it has no connection with NeuroGuide, however it is limited to Brain Master software. Furthermore, it has not resulted in any unwanted ab reactions or flashbacks. There are two events used in the dual bipolar montage protocol. The first event governs the 16 bandwidths associated with channels 1 and 2. Auditory and graphic feedback occurs if and when 13 of the 16 bandwidths are within the manual z-score setting. Let's talk more about this first event. The first event is governed by or controlled by a manual setting. The clinician adjusts the U key on the keyboard to change the z-score setting threshold. The higher the z-score setting, the easier it will be for the trainee to get feedback. Trainees seem to do best when they receive about 55 to 75 percent feedback. A thermometer bar on Brain Master screen shows the current Z-score threshold setting located in event number one. There is yet another event, event number two, which is set up as a dynamic threshold. What happened is that after using the, the dual bipolar montage protocol uh, for a little while, we tried adding a secondary event a condition that would directly connect the two bipolar sites, FCT3 and PZT4. The feedback for the secondary event threshold occurs only when both sites demonstrate synchrony. The second threshold is dynamic and therefore non-adjustable. The second threshold has its own unique sound. Let's review the feedback tones coming from the two thresholds. The manual database threshold has its own unique sound. It's in event number one. The dynamic uh, threshold, it's, we might call it a synchrony threshold, also has a different sound. However, the graphics are limited to the manual threshold found in event number one. Training is limited to two 10-minute sessions. There are several cautions when using the dual bipolar montage for PTSD. Neurotherapists are acting as facilitators, not emotive dentists that forcibly extract trauma history. The protocol is limited to healthcare professionals trained in trauma debriefing. Emotive therapy is limited to clients who have a strong 
therapeutic relationship. It is not used by EEG techs. It is always limited to healthcare professionals. Finally, emotive therapy should never be started until the client is ready because they have been taught grounding, safety, and coping skills. Of course, most trainees will be encouraged to do journaling after each training session. The custom protocol used in this pre presentation is featured at all workshops taught by John Demos. The dual bipolar montage protocol for post-traumatic stress disorder is free. Now let's review setting up and using this protocol with BrainMaster software. I'm going to open up BrainMaster. And we'll go to Folder Selections, Create a New Folder. And now we're going to go to Jane Doe. And this will be the dual, and I'm going to call it the BIP montage. I do not use the term bipolar in the description because some clients might think we're talking about bipolar disorder when in fact we're talking about a two, uh, two bipolar montages. From my list I have a two channel bipolar montage. I'm going to select it and click OK. And then in viewer change settings let's go to the data channel section electrodes and trainee info and there we see T3FZ is channel 1 and PZT4 is channel 2. Of course the age is set at 0 because this is not NeuroGuide and so we do not want NeuroGuide Z-scores activated. Click OK. We will click OK again and we will leave this set on simulation and the training time is set for 60 seconds of 10 runs or for a total of 10 minutes. We'll click OK. And now we'll click Use These Settings, Run the Next Session, and Go. We'll click OK and OK. And you can hear the two different tones. There are the two simulated channels. Right now the Z-score is set for 10 standard deviations. By hitting or striking the U key and holding down shift, I'm going to lower my Z score. Does everybody see that it's 7.2? I'm going to lower it again, keep going down. And now we hear the sound for the first event, the manual threshold, which is now set at 3.2 standard deviations is now providing us feedback. How often? 74% of the time. There are 13 conditions that we talked about and whenever the client, whenever their z-scores uh, exceed or meet 13 or 14 of the 16 possible conditions, they receive feedback. We can see that the second event yields about 50% feedback. So the client is hearing two tones. Of course these tones can be adjusted. If I click set up home screen, viewer change settings, event wizard, I can go to event number two and instead of uh, organ number two uh, we can change it. We can change it to organ number one. And now event number two has a different sound. Or let's say we want to go to voice ooze. I'll use that now. And again, we're hearing two different sounds. So the client hears two sounds. The user adjust is set in this particular case for 3.2 standard deviations. 65% of the time there is feedback and also the dynamic threshold stays at a steady 50%. Thus we have demonstrated the use of the dual bipolar montage for post-traumatic stress disorder.